This video is going to show you how to create a design and how to transfer that design onto a carving block when you make uh, an Islamic tile. What you'll need are just regular um, photocopy or printing paper. Uh, you don't need art paper for this, you need to have it quite thin. Uh, you need a ruler, a pencil, make sure it's nice and sharp, eraser, some scissors and uh, you will also be using this. This is our soft rubber so it's quite bendy. Uh, this is what we're going to carve um, and it's already cut into the size that we need. So I'm going to use this uh, also um, and I already have used it for the design. This is the design I've already created. To do this I actually just drew around the carving block so I know it's exactly the right size. I then divided it in half diagonally and in half again. Um, you need to use, you need to have white and then two colors. You can have uh, two colors. I went with two cool colors, uh, but when you print, you can actually change up the colors. So don't worry too, too much about what color scheme you want. Uh, now that I've got a design to work from, I'm going to recreate it again. Uh, ready to transfer. So I'm going to still work on the same paper. It's, it's the designs next to me. You put the carving block on the paper and just draw around it. Uh, this is 8.5 by 8.5 centimeters squared. And actually, the great thing about this is you really only need to draw half of it. Draw a diagonal from corner to corner. So you're cutting it in half and then half again. You do the idea is with the tile prints that when you print them together they actually match up so it's worth paying attention to the details at this point and making sure all the measurements are the same. So I'm just going to work on one half now. I'm going to try and recreate this. I measured in from corner inwards at uh, two centimeters in. So I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to put a few dots to guide me. So I'm going to mark off two centimeters here and two centimeters here. From the center to the tip of the triangle is also two centimeters. So again, I'm going to do two centimeters here. And I'm going to connect these dots now to form that uh, inner triangle. Okay, and then I'm going to very thin, about it's about a millimeter. I'm not measuring this, but using my ruler. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing again on this side. So two centimeters and two centimeters from the center going in two centimeters and now I'm going to join them up. So connecting the dots. And again, okay, and then about a millimeter, give or take. You do need to leave some white areas. It helps to make the image really stand out. Okay, now I've got this little inner square here. It's about a centimeter across, which means it's going to be about half a centimeter up. Okay, so about half, about half, and so I'm putting. This is the center point. That's up the naught point five, and then that's the one. It's actually not looking very even there, so I'm just going to even that out. 
doesn't matter too much. Oh, there we are. That's a bit better. Okay. And so I'm going to end up with just a sort of a rectangle, this rectangle here. Okay, I've also got a, a, a center line that's white, so what I'm going to do here is uh, so that it's even, I'm just, it's about a millimeter on e either side of this main line. Okay, and then I've got more white, so I need to mark out that white. Any area that's going to be a different colour, you need to draw the lines that will surround them. Okay. Right. Okay, that's that's half of it. Now cut it out. options here. I can do the same thing again here measuring carefully or and this is particularly useful if your image is not necessarily geometric so not so easy to um, to actually measure out. Fold the paper on the diagonal and go to the corner there okay and then with the blank side flat and facing up, fold it over and using your pencil, go over the lines. This pressure will transfer the design quite faintly, but enough for you to be able just to quickly follow. Uh, what can help is that if you when you draw your lines, when you draw your design on, you press down quite hard. That will help to to transfer. Okay, so I'm just going to see now. There. It's very faint, but it's there. So that's easy for me to draw. Like I said, this is a good system, particularly if you're drawing a more organic pattern. But now instead of measuring, all I have to do is go over the lines that have been transferred. It also means that each the sides are identical now. So they'll match up. If you like, you can even stop using the ruler. That's sometimes a bit quicker. Can press down here because you're going to transfer the design again. So do you press down with your pencil? Press down hard. There we go. Now, you might have noticed that this, this line doesn't have the cross. So, uh, 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the, that other central line. So about a millimeter below it. And I'll just turn it around. Millimeter below that central line. Okay, right. Design transferred. Now, take your carving block and put your design on top of it. Okay, it should match up pretty much perfectly, and you're going to do exactly the same thing. So, using pencil. transfer the design, the side you've done already and the other side, so over the whole design. Just to scribble you do need to apply pressure, so press down so that the design transfers. And these are going to guide you when you're carving. So make sure you hold the paper in place. You don't want the paper to slip. If it slips, your design will also slip. Now you can do this with, with regular printing paper. Uh, you might find it easier with tracing paper. So you can also do it with tracing paper. So with tracing paper, it's easier to see the designs. You can see your lines through it. I don't have tracing paper today, so copy paper now. You can peel it back, keep one finger down on it and just peel it back. I can see that one area hasn't come out so well, so I'm just going to go over that one. Yeah, I slipped a bit, so it's slightly moved, but that's okay. So you should, something like that, design transferred, ready for carving.